Currently, there is a hurricane impacting Florida, and yet here I am at Orlando International Airport, not to be dropped off, but to pick someone up. A couple someones, actually, that I am very excited to see. Usually at MCO, we would pick up in the departing flights area, but I came down to arrivals because it is, it's raining. And there they are. It's Travis and Dennis. So we've made it to Cracker Barrel. That's right, because Cracker Barrel sells alcohol now. We're gonna get lit at 11 a.m., baby. It's how we do it. Subscribe to Hoibi. Welcome to, <laughs> he always sounds so senile whenever I film I Travis. Senile. No, he does. No. I just, I film Travis and he's like, subscribe to Hoibi. Hey everyone, hi Roy's subscribers. So we're just gonna have a quick little brunch here. Travis and Dennis just flew in early this morning. They almost didn't even make it. So we're sitting over by the window. We always used to come to Cracker Barrel. A lot of kids were just going over off of the breakfast menu, I think. And we got this mimosa here, this Granny Smith apple mimosa pitcher that we're going to be splitting. And then we got some um, loaded hash brown tots to share too. These are the loaded hash brown tots. And these are Granny oh, apple hot. Smith mimosa. Those are really good. <laughs> Right, right, all right, 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 right. And here's our Cracker Barrel breakfast, our brunch. Hi, Dennis. Good morning. So we made it back to the house. Hey, Arlo. And Travis is meeting Arlo for the first time. Hooray! Hey, this is dangerous for tall Americans. I protest. Okay. Tall Americans? Yes. Oh. Hi, Arlie. So this is the spare room in here. Hey, Dennis. Yes. Did you see what I got for you? I'm a dum dum. I <laughs> got you a dum dum. Why are you going out the front door? Go to the garage. We're gonna go play some uh, some basketball. I bought a basketball. So we are going to Universal. Sorry, puppy. After we play some basketball, we did have other plans today, but they were they didn't work out. So I'm actually really excited to do this because Brennan and I explored this park a little while ago, and I was like, oh, there's a basketball court. I'm gonna come back here, and we're doing it. I see it. So this is the basketball court with um, no nets, pretty much. This is great. We parked like way over there. That's where like the uh, the, the playground is. So we were all tied. We were playing individually. One versus one versus one. Yep. And we all had five points. And then a C1. Feels good. So today we were supposed to go to Halloween Horror Nights, but it was canceled. Travis flew down for one day, and just one day only, just to go to Halloween Horror Nights, and they just canceled it. The basketball court is way back over there. So Halloween Horror Nights was canceled. The park is still open, so I think we're just going to go to Universal and just do what we can do just at the park, but we can't go to HHN, which sucks. So we're back home. Clearly have plenty of hurricane provisions to last us Ooh. if need be. I'm in the backyard right now. Hi, Farley. So the weather currently is not that bad, but the storm pretty much impacted. Hey, Calvin. Um, the big bend of Florida. So we're sort of on the outskirts of it, more like along the Eastern wall where it's sort of hitting along like the Tampa region. So we're okay in Central Florida, we usually are, but just the fact that they canceled HHN six hours before it starts, that just really sucks. So we made it to Universal, and you can see right here, Halloween Horror Nights has been canceled. So we're heading for security now, and what I think we're going to do is just head over to Islands of Adventure. There it is, Dennis, Halloween Horror Nights. That could have been us. Why? Dennis really wants to play Hurricane Mini Golf, which I sort of doubt will be open, but it would be entertaining. So here we are at Universal just to ride some rides. Travis and I were here a little while ago with his kids, but now we're sans kids and we might ride some roller coasters. So there's this thing that whenever they put corn in Halloween Horror Nights, there's a <laughs> hurricane. So I think the plan is to go over to Hagrid's and Velocicoaster. I think because Travis has not done either of those. So I think that the weather is not supposed to be really impacting us until a few hours from now, so we're gonna to try to get in the outdoor rides while we can. So we're heading towards Hulk right now, and I think we're gonna to try to ride this. I said it was delayed, but it's right here. This was not supposed to be one of those. Look how empty the theme park is on the day of a hurricane, but that's just sort of how it unfortunately worked out. So I guess that it's delayed due to high winds, surprisingly. Um, so we're gonna go ride Storm Force. Okay, we're trying to fit into the same cup here. So Dennis and Travis wanna spend as fast as possible. So we dig into the same 
um, little little pod, but I don't really want to spend that much. There we go. Let's see how much Travis and Dennis decide to spend. Oh my god, they're spinning so fast. But I'm spinning even though I really don't really want to. Oh my god, they are spinning so fast. That is ridiculous. I'm getting dizzy just watching them and I'm spinning too, but it's because I'm on this turntable thing. Now they're going back the other way. They're ridiculous. This is the first thing we're doing and they want to spin that much. I'm trying to spin too. Ah! This shouldn't be as hard as it is. Congratulations everyone for helping us defeat Magneto. If you would like to re-rock, you are more than welcome to. Once again, if you want to go on again, you are more than welcome to. If not, at this time, it's safe for you to exit out of your pod by pulling your pod doors towards you and making your way towards our exit. Once again, make your way towards your exit. So, how'd you do? You alright? I needed to say our safe word like twice, but I didn't. What? Okay. Look it's at this. Of respond. Yeah. A little bit, little bit more intense in the teacups, right? There's no line for Hulk, but it's not open. Darn you, hurricane winds. Dennis, you pointed out something sort of interesting, that that was a pretty uh, thematically appropriate ride to ride, right? Yeah. Also, Hulk is running now, but I think we're just gonna head over to Velocicoaster to make sure that we can do that. Or Hagrid's, whichever one. Spider-Man's a five minute wait right now. But we're supposed to do Velocicoaster. Right into Toon Lagoon, over to Velocicoaster. That's currently a 25 minute wait, I think, the last time that we checked, and Hagrid was a 75 minute wait. Travis wants to stop, like, at every single ride that we pass by. He's like, I think a little kid going to the theme park for the first time, where he's like, I wanna ride that! But we gotta do the stuff that he hasn't done, which is why we're heading over to Velocicoaster, so we can hopefully do that while we can. Passing by Velocicoaster now, it's getting a little bit darker and windier, but we're almost there. Party through the Discovery Center to go down to the coaster rather than going all the way around. All right, we're outside. That's where we just came from. It's only a 25 minute wait. So hopefully he's going to make it this line very quickly. This entire area is not built at all, which is a pretty good sign. We're moving a little bit slow. Now we're picking up the pace. So we just got off a Velocicoaster. It did go down for a little bit while we were waiting in line. Travis really liked it. A little bit shell-shocked. Dennis, what was your favorite part of the Velocicoaster? Ooh. I know, it's gotta be the corkscrew right above the water, right? Either that or the part where it accelerates in the middle and then climbs up the giant... Uh, right over there? Yeah, the giant hill. Uh -huh. I forgot that was in the middle. I thought it was at the beginning. I think that this was the... Whoa! Oh, I was about to say, this is like the perfect weather to ride this. Pretty much, like it really adds to the uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World aesthetic. So Travis wants to get a butter beer. So that's where we're heading now, I think. And then maybe to ride Hagrid's. Look at this wind. It's concerning when did they add this tag? Oh, it's been here. Really? Yeah. From day one? I think so. We're heading to the Lost Continent now. We decided to go this way instead of going back through the Discovery Center. And then, I don't know. I think it's pretty equidistant. Okay. So to get a butterbeer, I think we're going to go to the Hog's Head. Just right inside the park. Or right inside the land. So this is the three broomsticks and this is the Hog's Head. Which means we shouldn't have gotten in line here because the line's pretty long. So we got some butterbeers. Travis actually got one outside because the line was not long at all. So got a regular butterbeer. Dennis got... But well, you got the, the regular, regular, Travis got the Travis frozen, got the frozen and, and then I, I got... Up. I'm sorry, I like the regular, and I'm spilling this. Okay, this is the Deathly Hollows, which is the Guinness Strongbow and Hogshead. So right now Hagrid's is closed for a weather delay. So we're just gonna wait around a little bit, maybe see if it reopens, or if not, just maybe go do something else. I think the Lost Coast is closed too, so I think we did that just in time. So we just had the shop back there, looked around at some stuff, and I think we're heading over to Hogwarts Castle to ride for Ben Journey. So this is only a 10 minute wait. So we're gonna go and do Forbidden Journey and then see what else we can do, what's open. So this is actually really interesting. This is an entrance into the queue over here, now next to the lockers by this tent. This is actually weird. They put chains up over here, the entrance of what is supposed to be the entrance of Forbidden Journey. So I'm gonna go back and get Travis and Dennis back over here. And now we're heading this way to get onto the ride. I don't know if I like that that much. You don't go through oh, the castle so anymore. It was so vlogging. What? I don't know, they're still vlogging. Oh, presumably the 10 minute wait is just going to be the walk to get to the loading platform. The weather is still cooperating, it's just very windy right now. So we're inside the castle. Yeah, well, that's pretty good on this phone. I don't know that I've like some of this ride since I got the new iPhone. Just watch. I'm Rachel, young Mr. Potter and Gryffindor beats you the ring today. Fine. Gryffindor doesn't stand a chance, Serena. Honestly, all of you, we have less. Yeah, this camera's doing really well, actually. 
So Velocicoaster is open now, so we're heading back over to Hagrid's, I guess, just to see what's going on with that. So it's still closed due to the weather, so I don't know, we're just going to walk. We're going to continue walking around the park in the direction that we're going, and then uh, just ride a ride if we want to ride, or if Travis wants to ride a ride. And we just turned around because we're not going to go to Seuss, we want to go to Jurassic Park. It's sort of weird though, with the weather delay, because half of the park is currently open and half is not, just with the outdoor attractions. Um, like Velocicoaster is open right now in River Adventure, but all the other outdoor rides are not. The lake down there is like completely empty. So we're heading to Jurassic Park. Velocicoaster is running. I don't know what's going on. There's the hurricane. It's okay. We'll figure it out. This is where some bloggers would be like, Hurricane damage in the theme park. Wow. Look at this carnage. It's ridiculous. So I think we're heading to River Adventure. I guess that's currently open. At least for now. The weather does actually feel really nice. It's like very comfortably windy. This is a 10 minute wait for River Adventure, so we're doing it. There's the model of the island there. Which I wish we could get a little bit closer to, that'd be cool. Travis and I did this last time he was here. And that was when uh, he came with his kids, so we're gonna look after the kiddos while well, Travis and I jumped on this. It's one of his favorites, right? There's pretty much nobody in this line right now, so it's definitely good. Might get a little bit wet, but that's okay. This wave is getting pretty intense. And I like this, like, I want to say old, but it's not really old, it's just when the park opened. It's a paper making any night of park. Jurassic Park. Or, yeah, right? Time. The ever flowing river. Come with us now to a time before man, when the river flowed through a newborn world, and giants walked the earth. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh man, that is scarier than the dinosaurs. trees just swaying in the breeze it was actually really cool and again pretty like appropriately thematic to a ride like um what is this river adventure so currently the rides that are closed at islands of adventure uh are ripsaw falls velocicoaster skull island terrain on flyers what else scarcity cell dr doom's fear fall flight of the hippogriff Hagrid's magic creatures motorbike adventure one fish two fish and Seuss Trolley Train Ride and the Incredible Hulk Coaster. Look at this hurricane debris. I can't believe it. See, this is like completely dry now. Which is weird that Ripsaw's closed and then Bluto's is apparently not closed. I have not done this in a while. Dennis actually did this by himself a while ago. You wanna do this one? Yes. Yeah, really Okie dokie. This one's a little bit of a luck situation. Whether or not we get wet. And I don't want to get this camera wet. This is pretty cool though. I have not gone this way through this queue in a long time. And this is what's important about going to the theme parks to people that don't normally go to the theme parks because they want to do the stuff that you would not normally do. And then you get experiences like this, like getting to walk through the extended queue 
of Popeye and Bluto's Bill Dread Barges. I presume that after this we're going to go to Marvel so we can ride Spider-Man because that's pretty much the only ride that is open right now. One of the few. This just goes around the entirety of the low dock down there. Oh man, we're about to get soaked. Look at this. How cool is this? I'm actually, I'm actually glad that we're doing this. Specifically because of this. You will get soaked in wet. Thank you for letting me know. Imagine this entire queue is completely filled. This whole video is just going to be me walking around through this queue. This seems a little bit unnecessary, but I'm glad that we're doing it. What, what's this? Okay, just there's a little window over to the other side of the queue. This is a long line. Wow, this was like pretty unnecessary. Walk this entire queue. I should have just like left this recording and just left this entire thing in because we were like. I mean, we stopped for like a second back at the like express merge, but it's the first time I've seen the whole. Yeah, it's cool, right? I guess we stopped like a couple times, but that was just to like like pulse the line a little bit. Look at this. I don't know if I've ever actually seen this part of the queue before. Like, how cool is this? I feel like whenever I've done this, it's been a load up wait where I've just walked to this point right here just to go down the ramp just to get onto the ride. And we're just walking the entire extended queue. But this is the end of our adventure because as soon as we go down this ramp here, we have the loading platform. You again, just the like older 90s videos that they play for these rides. And here it is, the loading platform. We're going to get wet. And I don't know if Travis knows how much you get wet on this ride, but I'm being a good sport about it. I think Dennis knows how wet you get on this, right? They let you know. They do, they do let you know, I guess. That's where we were up there, walking around the entirety of the queue. So I'm just going to record this on my phone and just hope for the best. Burgers to go. Count me in. Oh no! Olive oil. Oh no! Dang it! Dude, I'm so nervous right now. Oh my god! Oh no, Travis! Oh no! We're good. Oh my god! 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 Oh no, oh no. Oh, I, yeah, I think this is us. Oh no, oh no. I think it's gonna get us all. No, no, no! There we go, Dennis. Ah! Oh, Travis! <laughs> oh, I haven't seen him laugh this much in a while. This is such a cool ride. I don't know what's going on, but I'm having fun. There's a lost coast here, which is gonna be delayed. Weather, so I'm glad we got to do what we did. Oh no! It actually feels pretty alright. I think. The silver lining is. Might as well, right, Dennis? Dang, is it that water? Oh, now we're stopping. Oh, dang it. <laughs> it could have been stopped right there. <laughs> Oh jeez. Right box, Liam. What did I do? You know what it was Travis's butterbeers that, that weight shifted us. Oh. Look here. This part's pretty okay actually, I think. He said. Confidently. Oh! Here it comes oh, Travis. Man. Oh no! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Protect me, Roy! Oh! Oh! stinker. Oh, I'm spinning, I'm spinning! Back to Travis! Let's go back to Travis! Watch up! Watch up! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Okay, it's a little bit. Windy. Oh, no. And there it is. The conclusion of the ride. Did my camera survive? I don't know. So we're running it again. If Dennis gets hit by the waterfall, Roy gets $20. If Roy gets hit by the waterfall, Dennis gets $20. And what if you get hit by the waterfall? Huh? What if you get hit by the waterfall? Dennis. Alright. Yes. Then you both owe me $20. Oh, you spent here. Not me. Not me. Not me. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Oh, no. 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 Oh,
clean you this guy. You can't hit me! You can't get me! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you got me! <laughs> Dennis. Dennis. That's not the best water to, to drink. <laughs> See, if you look like you want it, they won't give it to you. Oh. 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 I'm dry now. I'm gonna go this water resistant, but we should find out. How this? You doing good? I just got 20 bucks. Travis finally gave us mercy and let us get off of Pop Pine Widow's Bilge Wrap Arches. I am shook. Oh, yeah, very soft. And I'm gonna make Dennis present it to you. Uh oh. Dennis? Give him that money. Thank you very Courtesy much. Courtesy of Travis. I did absolutely nothing. This is very wet. Yeah. Travis wants to go up to the olive to spray the people down there. Yes. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, it felt like there was. Travis says that the, uh, the blasters don't work very well, but the slides are open again. Ah! Travis pushed me. Oh, crap. I'm stuck. Barely. Here we go. Did you slide? I did. Did they come down too? They probably went up the stairs. Because they're not fun. Where are they? So I'm Travis and Dennis. They just went down the stairs. I think we're heading to Spider-Man now. Hopefully the wind will sort of dry us off a little bit throughout the rest of the uh, the day. I don't know what we're gonna do after Spider-Man because everything else is pretty much closed. So before we're getting in line for Spider-Man, we're gonna get some Auntie Anne's pretzels to share. So we get some original nuggets, and then some cinnamon nuggets with some marinara and some sweet glaze. And then I got a blueberry, or a, what is this, like a blue raspberry lemonade? You got it. <laughs> so we finished our uh, nuggets. Courtesy of Travis to go. <laughs> nice. Uh, so Spider-Man is delayed too, so we're just not having the best luck with rides. Dennis really wants to go to the arcade, so we're heading inside just to check it out. It's a good thing that it's not cold in here because that would be unfortunate. That was sarcasm because it is definitely cold. So now Dennis wants to see if we can play some mini golf maybe. I don't know if we'll be able to because all of the outdoor rides are closed, but we're gonna go find out how violently these are being whipped around or even sort of like ripping. That's not good. So Travis wants to see if we can play some mini golf and then maybe pick up a pizza if a place is open and then go home and play some Smash Brothers. So we'll see if the mini golf place is open. And again, if not, we'll just head home, which this is what Travis was most excited about, just to like play some ping pong. So we're heading into the park now and I do definitely want to establish, I know that I've sort of been making jokes, but this is a very serious storm that is currently impacting Florida right now, which is why all of these events have been canceled, which is very reasonable. And even with like the delays and stuff, we still had a good time at Islands of Adventure. And I'm glad that I was able to spend it with Travis and Dennis. And we're still going to be having some fun tonight and tomorrow. I'm actually really looking forward to just going back to the house and having some pizza and playing some games. So we're heading inside the preview center because I'm excited for Travis and Dennis to see this. All right, to show Travis and Dennis the model, which I think that they're really impressed by. The universe has announced that new stores are coming here to City Walk. A, uh, a Super Nintendo store and then a Harry Potter store. This moment of truth. Is it going to be open? I don't know. So surprisingly, this is open! So we decided to make a bet for this. What's right. the bet? In order of age. Okay, uh, well. Highest score buys pizza. Yes. So whoever loses buys pizza, and we're going in order of age. That's the bet. So it is very windy, which has been a pretty fun challenge just to add to our mini golfing experience. This is the halfway point of the course. I just tripped. This is over by the sidewalk, which I tried to rollerblade once and probably could have, but I'm sort of enjoying the weather. Just how windy it is. We're pretty much. We are underneath the moving walkways. So this is the final hole. Travis and Dennis already shot their balls. Mine's over here somewhere. There it is, making its way up. It's slightly hard to see. There it goes. Where am I gonna go? Yay! No. Where'd you go, Dennis? Were you the left? I got that one. You got the right. So the score is in, and Dennis won with 47 putt attempts, and then Travis and I tied with 48. That's probably the closest mini golf game that we've ever had, and now Travis and I are splitting, buying pizza for everyone. So we made it down to the very end of the parking garage, pretty much, and we're heading to get some pizza for the mobile order. Uh, pick up some NYPD pizza. The storm should be getting relatively bad. We're getting pretty much right around now, so that's why we're gonna go home and hunker down and get some pizza and play some games. We did pretty much all that we wanted to do because Universal closed at 5 o'clock tonight and Islands closed at 8 o'clock 
and then AJG never happened. So we made it to NY PD Pizza, and we put in our order earlier uh, at Universal, and now we're just picking it up, bringing it back home, and playing some Smash Brothers. Hey, Buffy. Hey, Arlo. So we have some garlic knots here, and that's Britain's pizza, and then the boys are sharing these pizzas. All right, it's the boys Go! playing the boys game. Oh, we're playing Super Smash Bros. <laughs> I know, they're playing Super Smash. And uh, we made the uh, items. The occurrence rate of them be very high, and they're all going to be Pro Balls. Arlo's jealous he doesn't get to play with the boys. <laughs> I'm still the Prince of Pong. Travis is still the Duke of Paddleton. I'm sorry. I'm about to the Prince. Ooh. Dennis retains his Pink King status. Ah, <sighs> until tomorrow. Or until. An hour and a half from now. Why, are you gonna challenge me? No. It's midnight. We just took Arlo on a walk, which seemed like a really nice idea until it started to absolutely pour down rain. So that's great. <sighs> so the theme of today is just damp and cold and uncomfortable. Um, but I'm gonna go into the video now. We did not get to go to Halloween Horror Nights, which is definitely a bummer. Um, because specifically Travis and Dennis flew in to go to Halloween Horror Nights. Travis is flying back home tomorrow, and the anticipation was that they were going to, if they were going to cancel HHN, they would do it the day before, um, but they ended up doing it just like six hours before it started. But I think that it was pretty solid. We went to Universal anyway, went to Islands and rode some rides, and then had some pizza and beer and played Smash Brothers. They're watching football right now, so not a bad night. And then we can actually get some sleep tonight, because tomorrow I think we're going to SeaWorld. So we'll do that before Travis flies home, but then it's just staying a few more days. Um, I'm tired. There's a hurricane outside, so we're going to bed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>